Hi guys, let's look at the next exercise, exercise 6C. This basically involves questions based on speed, distance and time. So all we need to remember is the formula speed is equal to distance upon time and then apply quadratic equation to solve them. So let's look at this question. It says the speed of an ordinary train is x kilometer per hour and that of an express train is x plus 25 kilometer per hour. Find the time taken to cover 300 kilometer. So we are talking about the ordinary train first. Speed of ordinary train is equal to x kilometer per hour. For the express train, the speed is x plus 25 kilometer per hour. Next, distance is given equal to 300 kilometer. So since we know speed is equal to distance upon time, which means time would be equal to distance upon speed. So for time for the ordinary train would be 300 upon x and time for the express train would be equal to 300 upon speed which is x plus 25 and we are working with hours. So that's the first part of the question. Uh, find the time taken. So this is 300 upon x hours and this is 300 upon x plus 25 hours. It says the ordinary train takes two hours more than the express train, which means what is given is t ordinary is equal to t express plus two. Let's just reconfirm ordinary hour train takes two hours more than the express train, which means t ordinary is equal to t express plus two, which means what we have here is t ordinary, which is 300 upon x, is equal to 300 upon x plus 25 plus 2. Let's keep x on one side, which means 300 upon x minus 300 upon x plus 25 is equal to 2. This is where I suggest that you divide both sides by 300. Why am I doing this? Because 300 is a big number. Multiplying 300 with x plus 25 will make us uh, a lot of work. So that's why if you divide it by 300, then you on the left hand side, you're left with 1 upon x minus 1 upon x plus 25 is equal to 2 upon 300, which is nothing but 1 upon 150. So that's my recommendation. Whenever you have a question like this, you should always divide both sides by the number in the numerator. Now let's take LCM. This is x plus 25 minus x upon x times x plus 25 is equal to 1 upon 150. Let's cross multiply. So what we have is x squared plus 25x is equal to 25 into 150. Yes, x squared plus 25x is equal to 25 into 150. Let's bring all elements on one side. This brings us x squared plus 25x minus 25 into 150 is equal to 0. So now I need to find factors of 25 into 150, the sum of which should be 25. So let's do the prime factorization. 25 into 150, 5. This is 5 into 150. Again, 5. This is 150. I still not reached my answer. Let's try. Uh, uh, 2 that will be 75 so this is 5 into 5 25 into 250 and this is 50 and 75 that will give us 25 perfect so this would be x square minus 50x plus 75x minus 25 into 150 is equal to 0 let me erase this part so what we get is x times x minus 50 plus 75 times x minus 50 is equal to 0, which means x minus 50 times x plus 75 is equal to 0, which gives us x is equal to 50 or x is equal to negative 75. Now speed cannot be negative, therefore speed of ordinary train is equal to 50 kilometer per hour. 
let's read the question and figure out what they want of calculate the speed of express train so this is what i call the tail questions we've calculated x but they don't want x they want x plus 25 therefore speed of express train is equal to 50 plus 25 that's 75 kilometer per hour that's why i strongly recommend after you've solved the question read the question once again and figure out what exactly did they want us to calculate let's look at the next question the next question that we do is question number three so question number three says if speed of an aeroplane is reduced by 40 km per hour it takes 20 minutes more to cover 1200 km so let the original speed let original speed be x kilometer per hour and therefore new speed is equal to reduced by 40 which means x minus 40 kilometer per hour right so we needed to find the speed of the airplane which i have equated as x the new speed is x minus 40 uh, distance given is 1200 kilometer so original time taken so original time would be equal to so we know speed is equal to distance upon time which means time is equal to distance upon speed so this is distance is 1200 upon x hour next new time as per this formula would be equal to 1200 upon x minus 40 hour any relationship given yes it takes 20 minutes more which means the new time is equal to old time plus 20 upon 60 hour since we've been working on hour and this is in a minute so this is one upon three let's substitute values and see what we get so new time is 1200 upon x minus 40 is equal to 1200 upon x plus 1 by 3. Uh, let's take all x on one side, which means 1200 upon x minus 40 minus 1200 upon x is equal to 1 upon 3. Like I said in the previous question, divide both sides by 1200 to remove the numerator big value. What we have is 1 upon x minus 40 minus 1 upon x is equal to 1 upon 3 taking lcm we get x minus x plus 40 upon x times x minus 40 is equal to 1 upon 3 right x minus x plus 40 this is fine this gets cancelled oh i didn't divide this by 1200 oh, my mistake so this is i didn't divide the right hand side by 1200 so this is multiplied with 1200 so what i have is x square minus 40x is equal to 3600 into 40 right this is correct 3600 into 40 so what we have is x square minus 40x minus 40 times 300600 is equal to zero uh, this is where you need to be smart in trying to calculate the uh, factors of this which would give us negative 40 i notice we already have 40 and 36 which is basically 4 which means if i take 400 and 360 the difference would be 40 so instead of writing it like 40 into 3600 i could write this as 400 into 360 and since this i want a negative sign which means negative 400 into 360 right so this will uh, reading your question this way and trying to identify would help you save a lot of time when you are factorizing so this becomes x square minus 400x plus 360x minus 40 into 3600 is equal to zero this is x times x minus 400 plus 360 times x minus 400 is equal to zero this gives us x minus 400 times x plus 360 is equal to 0 which means x is equal to 400 or x is equal to negative 360 
Now speed cannot be negative. Therefore, speed is 400 kilometer per hour. That's the original speed. Let's read the question. It says find the speed of the aeroplane. So original speed is 400 kilometer per hour. Good. Let's look at the next question. These questions are getting longer. Next question. A girl goes to her friend's house, which is at a distance of 12 km. She covers half the distance as a speed of x km per hour and the remaining distance at a speed of x plus 2. So this is total of 12 km, half distance which is 6 km, the second half is 6 km, first half at a speed of 6 km per hour, the second half at a distance of a speed of x plus 2 km per per hour. If she takes 2 hours 30 minutes to cover the whole distance, which means total time is 2 and a half hours. So let's just write for first half uh, d1 is equal to 6 km, speed 1 is equal to x km per hour, which means t1 is equal to distance upon speed which is 6 upon x hour right for second half what we have is d2 is equal to 6 kilometer speed 2 is equal to x plus 2 kilometer per hour which means number 6 time 2 is equal to 6 upon x plus 2 hour. As per the question, the relationship is t1 plus t2 is equal to 2 hours 30 minutes. So t1 plus t2 is equal to 2 hours 30 minutes. Let's substitute values. t1 is 6 upon x plus t2 is 6 upon x plus 2 and 2 hours 30 minutes would be written as 2 1 by 2 hour. Let's take LCM. So this is 6 times x plus 2 plus 6 times x upon x times x plus 2 is equal to 5 upon 2. Yes, that's 5 upon 2. Uh, I haven't divided both sides by 6 because these were smaller numbers. So this is 6x plus 12 plus 6x divided by x square plus 2x is equal to 5 upon 2. Let's cross multiply. What we get is 5x square plus 10x is equal to, this is 12 multiplied with 2, that's 24x plus 12 multiplied with 2, that's 24. So this is 5x square minus 14x minus 24 is equal to 0. Let's just confirm 5x square minus 14x minus 24 is equal to 0. Now I need to find factors of negative 24 into 5. That's negative 120, the sum of which should be negative 14. So this can be 20 into 6. Right, that's simple. So this is 5x square minus 20x plus 6x minus 24 is equal to 0 which means 5x times x minus 4 plus 6 times x minus 4 is equal to 0, which gives us x minus 4 times 5x plus 6 is equal to 0, which gives us x is equal to 4 kilometer per hour or x is equal to negative 6 upon 5. Speed cannot be negative. Therefore, speed is equal to x is equal to 4 kilometer per hour. Good, that finishes this video for me. Let me mark a few homework questions. Homework questions for you would be question number 2 and question number 4. Thank you so much. Take care, be safe and if you have any queries, do feel free to get in touch with me. Bye-bye.